Okay, so we gotta get out of the house and we gotta hurry it along. So obviously we're not gonna have time to play with no contact lenses. What we're gonna do is do this um, lighter colored than my skin tone, Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation SPF 20 Brightening, brightening com Complex. I guess it's basically foundation for all skin types. All right? Light color, light, light, light. Okay, so because I'm lazy and I don't like buying stuff and I don't like looking for things, I'm going to make this real fast because I don't have a lot of time right now. So I noticed in photographs my red spots that we're trying to even out with this foundation tend to be along the sides of my nose because of my glasses. Um, so the pinch marks. Make sure if you're, you know, not 20 anymore, that you stay away from the creases next to your nose and on your face because sometimes the uh, foundation gets caught in there. I do a little bit on the eyelids. It's, this doesn't burn. I had really bad luck with uh, Burt's Bees. You know, anything, any of their products. Their, their lip um, balms, their, uh, what's the other one? Their, uh, cosmetic wipes, the things that you take the makeup off with, I have, it feels like battery acid on my skin, so I can't do that, so, so much for the idea of, you know, that, that something that's good for the environment and doesn't test on animals is always good for everybody, because that's not necessarily true. On me, ideally, seems we don't have much time, I'm going to go underneath the eyes with my finger, because I'm lazy, I don't feel like looking for sponges, even though I know exactly where the sponges are, um, and on the top of my eyelid, just to get the the eyeshadow to stick. I'm going to do this real fast. I also have a little bump on my chin from when I fell on my face. Um, sober, if you can believe that. Um, and left a little red mark that hasn't cleared up yet. Um, so I have to cover that up also. We've got to set it with this loose powder stuff. This is also Physicians Formula. Talc free, minimal wear, SPF 16, natural beige. And because I guess I'm light skinned, one step behind uh, darker than a natural redhead. And we're going to go all over with this powder stuff again. The idea and the objective of the powder, as I understand it from television and so on, is to get the stuff that you're going to put on top of it to set. Let's see, what else do we got here? Well, there goes the sponges. The name of the sponges. <laughs> I don't have time to play around with. Ah, so we, went, we went gray last time, right? So let's do... I can't remember if we went brown or gray last time. Gray is nice. For, I can't I can't think of an eyeshadow, an eye, an eye color that it wouldn't go well with. What else have we got here? We got grays, we got purple. We got purple. Well, we're doing gray. Let's see. Let's try the gray out. Let's try this purple out, see if we like it. If we hate it, we can always do something else. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's do that. It looks like a gray. When you put it on, it looks like a very dark gunmetal gray, but it's actually purple. And I just wanted to see what it looks like before I commit myself to it on the, both eyes. Yeah, that'll, that'll sort of work. Let's see what it looks like with glasses on because I can't see very well without them. Okay, it looks like a dark gray with a bit of a shine. I hear that the um, that the shiny eyeshadows, so we don't want to do black. Black is too early for black. Um, the shiny eyeshadows leave a, uh, or supposedly stay out of the creases in your face a little bit better. I have no idea if that's true or not. Ah, oh, there's my brown. Always know where your, where your eyeshadows are and your, your little pieces here. I like the sticks. Um, I, I have a hard time with the liquid stuff. It, it requires a real steady hand. And I don't have time for, this, for the wand with the liquid. I just don't. I hate mascara, so I'm going to do my very, very best to avoid it because that's more time trying to fix it after I put it on. I'm not good at it. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. Uh, this is a, what is this, like a smoky eyeshadow. Because it's the middle of the day, it's barely noon. The morning completely got away from me. I feel like a total idiot for that. The morning has escaped me. It's almost noon now. I feel like I got up ten minutes ago. I'm going to go top and bottom. On the other side of the eyelashes, because 
don't know about you guys, but I have really bad reactions if anything is directly next to my eyes. So I'm going to go around that and expedite things. Oh, we also need we also need this highlighter stuff. This is shiny butter highlighter. It's called. Looks like that. Um, none of this stuff is horribly expensive. I got all of it at Walgreens. Um, it's just a pearl color. And again, trying to expedite things. So, oh, I don't have time to fold packages. Okay, so I'm going to wing it here. Seeing as I'm a finger blender, I'm just going to go underneath the eyes a little bit. Go up towards the hairline, like in the circle shape. Just to bring a little bit of, a little, I mean, you're talking about this little tiny bit of shine. You're not really doing anything that's, you know, professional looking or anything like that. Just enough to, you know, make it look like you didn't just roll out of bed. So a little bit around the top of the, the top of the eye socket right underneath the eyebrows. And kind of going in C shape, like a, like a C. Just to bring a little bit of life here so you don't look like you're... You know, like you just got out of bed. Um, ideally, if you really, from what I hear, where the lid went? Um, oh, there it is. From from um, if you if you're really if you're really trying to hide stuff under your eyes as you get older, the uh, best thing to do. This is Mac. This is my favorite one. This color is Flaming Chic. I really like this color a lot on light skin tones like mine. And you just kind of go gently along your cheekbones and up, kind of like this sort of a, yeah, just a little, I'm not big on a lot of makeup, because if you can really see it, that's not a good sign, if you ask me. From a finger blender, I think it looks fine. I want to expedite things, so I need to move along. And I'm going to go real simple here. So we're going to do this dark purple metallic, like that. Add a little bit more light, a little dark metallic purple there. Just to make it look like I've made a little bit of effort today. And again, um, seeing as we're doing eyeglasses today, we need to look, you could go a little bit more with eyeglasses because um, you're not going to see the makeup as much as you would without them. So I like to keep things nice and simple. No mascara. I hate mascara. I tend to avoid it like a, like a plague. There we go. There's that part. We have a little bit of blush. Let's see what, uh, oh, seeing as daytime, you know, be aware of what time of day it is and where you're going and what you're doing. Let's see. This color is Cryolan. Oh yeah, this must have been a freebie. Article 1201. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice, almost a dark rose color. Um, somewhere between dark rose and a brown, a little red in there. And if you know your undertones, undertones are the colors that are not the color itself, but the colors that are hiding in the middle of them. If you have too much makeup, you use your fingernail and go along the lip line with a Kleenex. And bite the, you know, put the thing on your, on your, bite the Kleenex with your lips. Bite that. Make sure that you get the excess off. Here's another trick. To make sure you don't get lipstick on your teeth, put something, your finger, um, around the tubes of the lipstick or whatever, and go like this. And whatever's excess will come off on your finger and not on your teeth. Seeing as it's the middle of the day, we don't need, we don't need a whole lot of, uh, we don't need a whole lot of, a whole lot of makeup this time of the day. Making sure. And I make mistakes all the time. The idea is just so that you look a little bit more put together than you would it normally. Because you never know when your opportunities are, right? So this is why we film. This is why we pay attention to how we look in the video. Um, get yourself a manicure. This is no chip. Uh, trying to remember. Something about pink. I can't remember the name of the color. And there's my phone in here. Let's see, I'll tell you the exact color and the exact brand. Let's see here. The color is... Yeah, I'm big on photographing. Because I want to know what I look like, I want to know what other people look like. This color is... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. 
Uh, pink ladies rule the school, and it looks like, uh, I want to say OPI, but I was wrong. Uh, it's a new color, but it's called Pink Ladies Rule the School, and it's no chip. So one of the other things to do, being careful about perfumes, because a lot of people are bothered by them. Um, this is a brand.